एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Do you feel your team's fantastic come from behind to to draw in the last match will uh, give Odisha FC momentum and impetus going into this game? I think what that sort of performance does is it it instills more belief and uh, gives energy. On the other hand, when you lose, that that uh, that takes energy. So I think certainly will give us energy. It will, it will give us. A little bit of more, a little bit more belief, but we, we're still very realistic and know that we're in the beginning of a, a process of development with this squad. So yes, it will give us energy and it will give us belief, but we're going to keep our feet on the ground and make sure we just keep on moving. Uh, ATK Mohan Ragan looked uh, settled and balanced side, and have started well. How difficult uh, is it to face a team like this? Well, it's difficult because uh, yes, they are balanced, and yes, they are. Uh, they've been together for a while, and they've uh, got a set, a set way of playing. And the way of playing is difficult to play against because they're good players who can hurt you if you push on and leave space behind you. And uh, if you don't do that, then they're very solid defensively. So you need to commit players. So that's the conundrum that you're going to face when you play ATK. So. It's difficult, but uh, we're going into the game buoyed, and we uh, we feel like we can have a real go at it. Uh, after the a loss in the first game and a draw in the previous one, can we expect OFC to uh, uh, win this game? When can we see the team playing its best football? Well, if I had a crystal ball, that would be an easy one to answer. But obviously, I don't. But. Uh, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the way that the team are. No, I'm stopping because that's. We saw Kamaljit play in the last game. Was there some injury concern with Arshdeep, or are you wanting to rotate your team's uh, top two Indian goalkeepers? No, there was a, there was an injury with Ash, and, uh, and therefore Kamaljit stepped stepped in, and I think he did well, and. Uh, We're happy if we can get that sort of competition between our goalkeepers. What's your take on some of the young Indian players like Henry and Saurabh, Premjit, and Thoyba, who are newcomers in the ISL this season? Well, of course, you, you can't you can't expect young players to walk in to uh, to an environment that they're not used to with a new coach and immediately immediately be the finished article. So. What we're hoping is that they will, during the time they gain an experience, that they can learn and they can still give a performance, which will strengthen their confidence and which will also help the team. Odisha has an, uh, had an excellent second half against Jamshedpur, and Diego took the game by storm. What are the key moments you thought in the game? Well, I thought in the first half, even though we were two 0 down, we were still playing a lot better than we did against Hyderabad. So I was I was relatively pleased with the the way we approached the game. We were much more compact. Uh, we were we were breaking out and playing through the lines much better. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and we gave away two sloppy goals, which put us on the back foot and left us a man to decline. Now, luckily in the second half, the players. Approached the game in the correct way. They kept their confidence. They kept their belief, and uh, we took it up a notch more in terms of our aggression right from the start. Of course, the free kick that we get when the goalkeeper is sent off is key because we score at that moment. So, to get to two one with 15 minutes to play, roughly, I think everybody was hunting for that second goal. And when we got the second goal. I think if the game was five minutes long, we would have scored the third one because we were really, we were really pushing. A lot of people have been asking about the availability of Jerry and Vinith. Can you give us an update? Will they be part of the squad against ATK? And how far along are they in their fitness? I'm sure he'll be part of the squad. Whether he can take part in the game or not, we'll, we'll, we'll make a decision uh, between now and the game. Uh, he has had an injury that he picked up against Mumbai in. Uh, In the friendly, and it's been a it's been a quite a bad one for him. So he's done all his rehab now, and he's uh, 
he's, he's, he's fit, but he, he, is he match fit? That decision we have to make going forward. Uh, George is from Goa and he's someone who's, uh, who a lot of people uh, t- think has a lot of potential. What's your take on him and can we expect to see him uh, on the pitch? George is a player that he's, this is all very new to him. Uh, George does have potential and he needs to add to his armoury a little bit more in terms of calmness and also in terms of his positional play. Uh, both on the ball side and when the ball is on the far side. And he's working very hard at it, and I expect George certainly to take part in uh, some of the games and move forward. Uh, ATK are a very balanced squad. They have a tight defence as well as a strong forward line. Do you have any special plans for uh, the forwards like Roy Krishna and David Williams? No, not really. I think you respect them because they are, because they are good players and they're experienced players. Uh, we have to make sure that when whilst we're attacking and they do have a they do have a well organised defence. Whilst we're throwing players forward, we're we're aware of the fact that on transition, if they get into the game quickly, when we're spread out, then they can be effective. So we have to make sure that we're we're aware of that and then make it difficult for them. But uh, more than that, it's going to be up to the players on the day to to make sure that we. We take away the spaces that they want and we defend well one v one. You spoke about rotation of players uh, because of uh, you know the congested fixture list. You had a good comeback in the last game and, and Diego was great as a super sub. Does he start tomorrow? Well, I think if you ask any manager a question 48 hours or 24 hours before a kickoff, he's never going to give the starting lineup. So all I'll say is that Diego did make a massive impact when he came on. I think Manu plays very well with the other players. So, in my mind, I've got to make, I've got to decide whether I start with Diego, who makes an impact, or Manu, who plays well with the other players. That's the that's the call I've got to make. And again, I won't be making that shouting from the rooftops today. I think. Uh, final question, what are your thoughts about the gradual improvement of the squad as a unit? It's a good question because, you know, we come down, we come down here into, into a bio bubble, we have very little time, we have very little game time to put ideas into practice. And so we're literally using the league games as a, as a, a way of improving. Uh, that's massively difficult. For top class Italian players or Spanish players or English players, that's massively difficult. I think the Indian boys have approached that in a very, very good way. And, uh, and we are a work in progress. Uh, and I think they are approaching it in the best way possible. It will, it will hopefully improve, but what we've got to do is we have to take result, get results at the same time because. If you don't, that steals belief, it steals confidence, and the process takes a lot longer. So, hopefully, we can pick up points along the way, and uh, as we're developing, and if we're still there or thereabouts, then uh, when things fall into place properly, I think we can be uh, we can be uh, at least an outsider. Latest news and exclusive videos from the update. Thakte, ekhoni subscribe karo na madher YouTube channel. Bell icon click korte bhulbe na jano.